Hey, you gonna help me? Today we're gonna be talking about how to correctly wear a pair of victory grips. <coughs> Chalky. Alright, if you're like me, you've either been using your grips without using the finger holes or you've been putting your fingers in the holes and using them like a pair of gloves to cover your palm. That's not the right way to use them and here's why. These grips are modeled after the grips that gymnasts use and those grips have a dowel across the palm so that when you wrap the material over the bar, you have an extra grip as you push down on the dowel. With CrossFit grips, you don't have that dowel, but the concept is still the same. What you wanna do is you wanna put your fingers in the grips and start with them about halfway down your fingers, okay? When you put your hand on the bar, you wanna start with your wrist high over the bar, kind of like a false grip position, and then actively push down on the fold that is created by your fingers, okay? This will add tension to the grips and transfer as much of the load as possible to the, the wraps, or the wrist wraps around your, your wrist and give your hands the most grip possible. All right, this concept is the same for three finger grips or two finger grips or four finger grips, you know, wh whichever ones you're using. And that's why sizing is so important. If you get a grip that is too small, there won't be enough material to create the fold, right? So your grips will be down here and you won't have anything to fold over and, and make. All right, if you have grips with holes in them, uh, for your fingers, but you haven't been putting your fingers in the holes uh, because you don't need them, that's what I used to do, then you have more material hanging off the end of your palm than what you need. So what happens is sometimes you'll be doing a bar muscle up or ring muscle or, or something like that and over gripping you have that kind of false grip position and the end of the grip will curl underneath and get caught as you're in the middle of that movement and get stuck. So then when you jump down, you either rip your grip or worse, you get your shoulder caught and take a, you know, a chance on actually injuring yourself. So don't put yourself into that situation by doing that. Either put your fingers in the holes and use the grips the way they were designed, or if you just absolutely refuse to, to use the finger holes, it just doesn't work for you. Then you should look into the Freedom Grips that uh, don't have the finger holes and they're just a little bit shorter and you never have any of that trouble of them wrapping around and getting caught up in themselves or, or anything like that. Another thing is the grips are made to be worn to cover uh, either combination of the three fingers you want. So it could be these three or it could be these three. For some reason, it just feels better for me having them on these three. Not really sure why, maybe it's just because uh, my little finger is so much shorter, kind of is not in there super good. But I'm gonna kind of work with it and see if I, maybe I like this better. But this is kind of, I guess maybe the recommended way because if you look at your hands, most of the wear happens on these three fingers. Your biggest calluses are right here you almost have nothing on this finger. So one thing that is worth noting is that the women's grips are a little bit narrower than the men's grips. And that's because for most women, even if their hands are the same length as a guy's, uh, most of the time they aren't as wide. So if you're wanting more coverage uh, and you have like a little bit wider hands uh, as a lady, then you can take that into account. Uh, my wife and I have just about the same length of hands, and this is her correct size grip compared to my correct size. I have really loved using these grips and learning how to use the finger holes correctly. If you guys found anything about this video helpful, please like and uh, subscribe. And if you have any questions, send me a message on Instagram. Thanks for watching and happy training.